everyone and welcome to Bob's Garden. Today we're going to talk about spider plants. These are really fantastic plants for the household. Uh, they do not like full direct sun. Uh, they like an east or west exposure and um, some slanted sun in the morning or bright diffuse light. So they are perfect, perfect plants for household. And these really do their best, I think, and look the nicest when they're in a hanging basket like this. Now what happens from time to time here is these can get, they really are fast growers and they will really fill up a um, plant, a pot like this. And they get pot bound. So if you see your spider plant struggling and it's really, really overstuffed and with tons of these little, what they call pups coming out, these are other spider plants, um, then it's time to repot it. So it's very easy there. You'll find when you go in there, they look like little potatoes, fingerling potatoes, and you just cut it in half and, um, uh, and then repot it back into the same pot. And then you can have more plants. Uh, these are also very well known for improving air quality in a small room. Uh, three or four of these plants can really, uh, remove some toxins. Uh, for a much larger building, I think it would probably take a five or 600 plants, but uh, they're really good for air quality. So um, some of the rules about this uh, is that they do not like to dry out entirely. They should not be bone dry. And I've left this on the dry side um, on purpose. So we look in here and you can see that this soil is lightening in color. And if I put my hand in there about this depth, it's uh, just barely damp to the touch. And now it's time to water this. And when I water it, I take it off the hook and I, I will wet this right into the sink and water it. They also like to have be fed about once a month from um, spring through the end of say November. And then I give it a rest. They do like a, a little bit of a dormancy period over the winter. So I do not fertilize from December till uh, uh, to the end of February and then I'll fertilize again in March. Uh, any 2020 20, 20 fertilizer will do. Um, it's just a straightforward potting mix. Do not use a potting mix with fertilizer already in it. Never, that doesn't work. The other thing about these is that they are sensitive to chlorine in the water. So if you're not using well water or um, a uh, rainwater, then you'll need a um, way of dechlorinating that. And you can use a uh, the same thing you use for aquariums and fish tanks. You just add that to the water and it will dechlorinate it and, um, and then you'll be good to go. So um, what you do want is that this starts to get a lot of these pups coming out and it does stress out the plant to have too many of them. I do like that look with that, but we can take these and cut them and it doesn't matter where um, along this stolen here this this step and so we'll cut one of these pups off and don't worry if you cut through it like this it'll just grow right back on its own but i'm going to cut it here and you know it's a good time to cut when you can actually see the roots on the bottom of these pups so we just take that off like this and we want to put this into a small pot so this is a good size. We don't want to use a pot like this. It's going to be too much for it. So at first, we're just going to put this in here like this. And we'll take off these uh, bottom leaves here so they don't get buried. And it actually won't need those. And we could just put it right into there and tamp down the soil and that's it now what i did this one here uh last month and one of these things what happens is in a small pot like this is, is it dries out rather quickly and sometimes i miss it and if it does dry out what's going to happen i left this on purpose you can see the ends of the stems here of leaves uh, are dried out and crinkled. Now, if it's just plain brown, not like that, what it shows that it's being overwatered. So uh, I'll just clean that up a little bit like this. I just let it go 
And if you see this browning like that on your main plant like this, uh, then you know it needs more water. And if it's just this plain brown spot, um, then you're overwatering it. So remember to keep these on the dry side with it's barely damp to the touch over the winter time. During the usual year long, from uh, March through the end of November, uh, you do want to keep this on, not totally wet, but you don't want it to want to dry out entirely. So uh, moderately moist at all times. So uh, that's about it for spider plants. A great plant to have, very easy. And there's, these are native to uh, Africa. So uh, they're really great, great house plants. So enjoy these and propagate them. Give the propagations to your friends and family. Uh, they make great gifts. So thank you for watching Bob's Garden and we'll see you next time. Remember to share, subscribe, and comment on my videos. And remember, be curious, not judgmental.